Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this job system where you can pick up this job here and it creates a random job, so a trailer that you can pick up. And when you deliver the trailer it disappears and you get money. So let's go. We will use the truck and the trailer from the last tutorial. Link is in the description. So the first thing I want to do is to optimize our trailer here. Let's open this up. So we have our interact and our overlap events. And the first thing I need is a clip location. This is of course a vector. So let's get it out here. We go from the mesh, so the trailer itself, and want to add world offset. Connect it with the A case up here. Of course, the location is the location here. And we want to check the teleport to true. Then we go down to the begin overlap event where we have our world location of the docking and the trigger. We say vector minus vector, connect it, right click, split structure pin. We want to set the clip location up here right click split structure pin as well we connect the x and the epsilon and that's it compile and save this and when we now hit play drive back to the trailer here press e you can see we dock it and it's better to drive the first thing that we need for a job system is a structure so right click blueprints structure and let's call this job underscore structure Let's open this up and we need four variables. The first one will be the name as some text. The second one is the money as some float. The third one is the weight also as some float. And the last one is the trailer itself. So we just need our trailer blueprint class reference. So it's pretty easy to create different trailers. So let's go to our trailer here from the last tutorial and you just say right click create child blueprint class. In this way you can just replace the static mesh. So with a red trailer, white trailer or wood trailer. So we have many trailers for many jobs later. The next thing is a blueprint actor. So right click blueprint class actor. Let's call this job. Open this up. And this gets a visual effect. You can choose whatever you want. Just this here, for example, like that. The next thing is we need to add up a box collision. Move it up a little bit here. And a sphere collision as well. We need this later for the spawn point of the trailer. So we can compile and save this and close this. The next thing is we need a game instance. So right click, group in class and search for game instance. This one here, let's call this my instance. Open this up and this gets a few variables. The first one will be the jobs itself. This will be a job structure as an array. The next one is our money. This is a float as a single variable. The next one is the current start. Current start is our job object reference. As well, we need a current destination as well as a job object reference. The next one is a current job. This will be our job structure. And the last one is our current trailer. This will be our trailer blueprint object reference. Compile and save this. Now we can close this, go to our project settings, maps and modes, and we have to select our instance that we created. The next part is we open up our job blueprint here. We can delete everything in the event graph and we need one variable. This is is destination as a boolean. As well, we open up our class settings and add up the interact interface from the last tutorial. 
compile and save this. And now we can call our interact event interact. This one here, we take out the Boolean here, need the branch to ask, of course, like this. And now we need two functions for this. The first one will be set job. We start with get game instance. We need to cast to our instance that we created. We get our jobs. We get a copy. We get the length of the jobs and we need a random integer connected. In this way, we every time get a random job. We take out our sphere here, get the world location as well as the get world rotation. And then we just say spawn AI from class. Right click, split structure pin. Now we have the name, the money, the weight, and the trailer of our random job. And we just connect the trailer with the pawn class, the location, of course, with a location, and the rotation with a rotation. Then we cast to our trailer blueprint. We go from the instance and want to set our trailer, so our current trailer, to the return value, like that. Then we want to set the current job. Right click, split structure pin. And now we just have to connect the name, the money, the weight and the trader. As well, we go again from the instance, we want to set the current start. The current start is pretty easy. We need a reference to self and this will be the current start. Again, we go from the instance and want to set the current destination as well. We go from here and say promote to variable and leave it like this one. Be sure that you make the variable public like this. Compile and save this. Then we go from the current destination and want to set the is destination boolean to true like this one. And the last part is we take out our visual effect here, minus pickup two in my case, and we want to set the visibility to false. So this will be our set job function. Of course, we need a second function called finish job. We start up similar, so get game instance. Again, we have to cast to our instance we get our current job, right click split structure pin, as well we get our money. Then we go from the current job money, say float plus float, connect it. Again, from the instance, of course, we want to set the money like this to the plus value. And just to be sure, we print the string you can remove this later. We just want to have an output that we can see that it's working, that we can print our current money when we finish the job. Then we go again from the instance, we get our trailer, so the current trailer as well, we get the current start. From the trailer, we just say destroy actor so that we remove the trailer. Then we want to set our Boolean here back to false. We go from the current start, want to set the visibility of our visual effect, in my case, the pickup here, back to true. So this will be our finished job function. So we can close this, go back to the event graph, and then we take out our finished job, of course, on true, and the set job on false. Compile and save this. And now we go back to our level, place the actor inside the world here, open up the details, select the sphere, and now we can choose where the trailer should spawn. So let's rotate a little bit here, move a little bit up here. Great. Of course, we need a second destination. So let's go back to the map right here, place another actor, select again the sphere, 
place it right here, for example, like this. And then we select job and we can set the current destination. So let's say job two goes to job one and job one goes to job two. So we can close this one and open up our instance again because we need to create some jobs here. So let's create, for example, three jobs. The first one will be food, for example. Let's say we get 500 for this and it waits 500 and we select the red trailer. The second one will be stones, for example. We get 1000 for this and it waits 1000 and we select the white trailer. And the last one is wood. Let's say we get 2000 for this, waits 2000 and we select our wood trailer. So now we have three jobs that we can randomly pick. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play, drive forward, press E. Now a trailer is spawned. We can pick it up like this one. And when we now come to our destination, we go to this sign here, interact, we get 500 as you can see, the trailer disappears, we press E again, there's another trailer and another job. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye.